How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy and in this video we'll be taking a look at the Nokia Lumia 1520. This is a 6 inch device uh, with full 1080p display. I believe this is the first time Nokia has done this with their device in terms of putting a full HD screen uh, on, their, on their smartphone. So on the back here it just tells you what the box content is like the charger uh, information pack and stuff like that. It's got the uh, pure view uh, branding and the Carl Zeiss and Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon because the processor in there uh, is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 actually. A little bit about the specifications uh, of this device. You got 1080 by 1920 six inch uh, display. That's at 367 PPI. Uh, you got Corning Gorilla Glass 2. So the glass, the display itself is quite strong. Uh, it comes with two gig RAM. Of course, that's uh, coupled with uh, the 2.2 gigahertz quad core processor that's in there. So this is quite fast actually for what it is as well. Uh, and the camera is 20 megapixel with Carl Zeiss lens. Uh, it's got OIS as well, opti optical image stabilization with autofocus and dual LED flash as well. Uh, of course, you've got pure view in there and the GPU is uh, Adreno 330. So it's quite quick, uh, responsive and that sort of stuff. Uh, the battery in there is quite big as well. This is 3,400 million power battery. Uh, so I expect this to last uh, for a while. So out of the box, this comes with the new Nokia Black Update, which means you'll be able to do things like use the uh, Nokia Storyteller, uh, Nokia Beamer, so you can send uh, stuff to other devices uh, and share it. You got that new app folder as well, so you can create folders and actually pin them to the actual home screen uh, as well, amongst many other things. So you got like Nokia ref uh, Refocus, uh, which seems looks a bit like uh, Lytro uh, camera, but as a software rather as a software update rather than a product uh, solely up by itself. So let's take a look at what's inside the box and take a closer look at the device just in a second. I'm just going to put that down uh, just for a minute. So you get your SIM card uh, ejector tool there. Uh, underneath that is your information pack. So in here is where you'd get things like your warranty information and uh, probably a quick start guide and stuff like that. So you got your charger in there, of course, three pin because I'm in the UK with a USB cable for uh, data transfer as well as charging it up and stuff. And you get your standard uh, in here. Uh, earpiece there to use for making and receiving phone calls and listening to music of course as well uh, so here's the device itself we just take uh, all the plastic wrapping off it and then we can take a closer look at the device itself so uh, this is the white version I believe it comes in other colors as well like red uh, so that's the dual LED flash on the back and you got your 20 megapixel camera there uh, that can record 1080p videos at 30 frames per second if you need to. Uh, you got your headphone port right there at the top. Uh, you got your SIM card port on the side. Uh, using, you don't need to use the SIM card ejector tool out the box because they put this there that allows you to quickly and easily pull it out. And this takes nano SIM cards as well. Next to it is where you can put your micro SD card. You can bump it up up to 64 gig, uh, which is a bonus uh, there as well. You got your micro USB port right at the bottom there for charging it up. And you got your speaker grill right there uh, just on top of that. On the side, just like any of the Nokia Lumia devices, you got your power button. Uh, you got your camera shutter button and your volume uh, rocker as well. And on the front, you got your front-facing camera, which is a 1.2 megapixel. Uh, this one can do 720p HD videos at 30 frames per second. And then you got your speaker there at the top. Uh, at the bottom, you got three capacitive touchscreen. Your back, your home button, and your search one, which is linked to uh, Windows Bing uh, search engine. Uh, so let's pop uh, this on and see what it's like. So once you switch it on, you're greeted with this um, Windows Mobile phone uh, operating system startup. Uh, there's no SIM card in there for now, so we take that out. Uh, setup process, nice and easy. Accept that. Again, recommended. Or you can do custom. Uh, next, search it for network. We can skip that. We don't want to do that just yet. Sign in later. Just setting up the phone now. And boom, here we go. So it's all set up. And then you can see there you got uh, you got extra column there, so you can add extra apps. Uh, you can pin extra uh, applications onto your home screen. You can see there the screen is absolutely gorgeous, and you can see the design as well. I like the slim profile. Is that it's light as well? It's not that heavy in hands. This weighs about 209 grams alone, so that's not going to feel so heavy, especially if you're going to use it uh, for a prolonged period of time for browsing internet, uh, reading books, or watching movies and stuff like that. So uh, and it's great as well because you can do things like Vine, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. Just to compare screen sizes. Well, this is the Nokia Lumia 1020. Uh, you can see size comparison there. Uh, it's uh, uh, massively smaller uh, compared to the 1520 there. Uh, you don't get that big lens on the back. You still get your 20 megapixel with uh, Cow's Eyes and Pure View uh, technology there. So it's still great. It's still going to be shooting uh, awesome pictures and that kind of stuff, taking awesome pictures. Uh, so that's not going to be a problem at all. But anyway, this is the first look and the unboxing of the Nokia Lumia 1520. Uh, do let me know what you guys think of this uh, device in the comment area below. Uh, if this is your first time watching my videos, make sure you subscribe as well to uh, see more content and uh, 
give you a thumbs up as well if you liked the video. And thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.